Okay, all you beautiful people. Uh, I said I'd read a channeling by Pamela Cribb. It's quite long, but I'll read it anyway because I think it's really helpful. Uh, yeah, it's Mother Earth speaking to us. This beautiful being, amazing being that the Earth is. It's like the, the soul of the Earth. And while we're looking at this gorgeous plant here oops it needs some water I can feel and just uh, feeling where well, you can't feel it but maybe you can this beautiful autumn morning air so let's let's get going <clears throat> I am Mother Earth and I'm here in your midst I am the ground beneath your feet I am an exuberant sun that shines on the trees, the plants, the flowers and all the elements around you. And I'm also here in this room, in this space. Become aware of me and use an image to capture me. See me as a woman in the centre of this space. Although it does not matter what form you give to me, take the first image that comes to you in which you feel, that is she, that is Mother Earth. I ask you to feel my joy, my gladness. In my soul lives a delight I want to share with you. Despite everything that happens on and with the earth, there is love and joy in my heart. I know there is a grand plan in which everything plays itself out in an infinitely greater way, and I know that life is good and life is fair. It is beautiful as it is. I want to bring you into connection with that basic joy so you can also feel within yourself my life is good despite the highs and the lows that I encounter those difficult moments still I'm alive life flows through you and how does it flow through you during these two days uh, this is must be from some retreat or something during these days we have talked about the male and the female, of the flow of giving and receiving, about the difference between being with another and being with yourself. We discovered how difficult it is to embrace yourself fully in order to receive what you really need, both from others and from yourself. You deny yourself so much and you are becoming aware of that about yourself. Receiving is a female energy, and there is a blockage in your ability to receive, in your ability to be open and receptive to what wants to come to you from the universe, from the cosmos, from the world, from other people, and also from yourself, your own beauty and wisdom. Today I want to speak to you about the portion of your body where the most pain is stored. With that pain comes the inability to really receive, to deeply embrace yourself, and to truly stand in your, uh, on your own two feet. And that portion of your body is the area of the abdomen. Go there now with your awareness. Imagine that your awareness is a focused arrow of attention and descend down from your head, through your spine, to your waist, and even deeper until it reaches your pelvis. Fill your entire abdomen with the energy of your awareness. See if you can touch your lower abdomen with your breath, lightly and softly. Let your breath descend into your abdomen and there feel your own strength. Feel how your abdomen connects you with the earth. In a way, the lowest portion of your body is where your deepest emotions reveal themselves. So put your attention there. And now that you are allowed to be there, just as you are, all aspects of you are accepted. Your abdomen is actually a cavity, and the pelvis is like a bowl that receives, a receptacle. And I invite you today to go there to meet and receive as children the parts of yourself who present themselves to you. In you these children are still alive, 
They are emotionally spontaneous parts which belong to you. The first child I want to invite is the child of joy. In you lives, that, lives a child who is filled with the joy of life and the will to live. It is the part of you that absolutely wanted to be here in this life on earth. It wanted to participate. It, ha it is daring and courageous and is able to enjoy everything life has to give in a human body. See if you can find that child in the bowl of your pelvis and look at what it wants to tell you. What does that child enjoy most? That tells you something about yourself and about what you love most. From what does this child derive its love of life? Then invite the child to come closer. Imagine that you reach out your hand or you put an arm around the child, that you welcome it and tell it that it is a pleasure to have it, that you know it can point the way toward more joy and fun in your life. And this child helps you to receive that. This child knows it is quite okay to enjoy life. This child knows that it is here to feel alive, to feel deeply every part of life, and to enjoy abundance in every area of your life as a child of God. This child knows that life is there to be celebrated. It is not always about learning, growth and development. Life is there simply to be lived, like a child that lives in the moment without thinking of the future or the past. Allow this child into your life and into your abdomen. Make regular contact with it. Once you have seen this child, you can invite it in more often. Into your everyday life, especially at those times when you are worrying or fretting, when your thoughts are in the future or in the past. Then is the time to ask the child what it feels like doing at this moment, right now. That helps the child to ground itself and you stay with it. Now we are going to invite in another child, also a part of yourself, and this is a fearful child. A child that has gathered many fears into itself and has, solu has no solutions for them. This child is a carrier of your fears. A child is innocent. A child still cannot build walls, fences or boundaries to protect itself. It feels the fear directly and fully. This child wants to be seen. It wants to come to you because it needs your help. You are the parent of this child, its mother and father. Allow this child to be there and look at its appearance. See the contraction or tension in its body and sense what you can and want to do for this child. Kneel down before it and reach out your hands and say, come here, you're safe with me. You don't have to apologize for your tears, I understand. Put them down here with me. Feel your own power at the moment when you do this. You are able to receive the fears of this child. You are able to accept these fears with equanimity and not to drown in them. And you may ask, how can that be? How do I know if I can transcend these fears? But there is a part of you that is greater than these fears, that has confidence and courage. Ask the joyful child to enter and sit beside you and comfort the frightened child. Keep your attention focused in the area of your abdomen and then see these two children sitting in front of you. They are both so beautiful and innocent and pure in their appearance. One is not better or higher than the other. They are both a part of you. Now we go to the third child. This is an angry child. Maybe you see it with clenched fists and angry red cheeks. You have often suppressed anger in your life because it was not allowed, not by you, not by your environment, not by the rules or morals that were, were taught to you. But now it is allowed to be. 
This child is free to show itself and it does not matter why it is angry or whether it is right or wrong. The point is that anger is allowed and that this angry child is allowed. Let this child also come to you. Invite it in. Tell it that you would like to get to know it completely, that it belongs to you. In this life you have been hurt, you have felt rejected, you have been disappointed and maybe also dissatisfied with life and with people. That is allowed to be seen. Anger and frustration are allowed to be part of you because this child will give you an important message. Certainly in the area of the abdomen, this child allows you to see where you have deprived yourself, where you have not given a voice, where you have not set clear boundaries for yourself. This is a valuable child. Do not ignore its impulses. Just ask what it wants to tell you. Ask what it needs. What would calm it? This child helps you to better understand and man manage the energy field of your abdomen. What do I want? What are my needs? This child has courage. It dares to ask questions. Today we have seen how the energy, especially of women, tends to get fixated on giving, caring, empathizing, being present for the other and forgetting oneself. Putting oneself second from the idea that, gives, that giving is better than receiving or that you should give to be recognized in order to get love. This takes you out of your abdomen and makes the child in you even angrier. And that child is right because something is out of balance. Something is askew. You do not need to give so much. How do you again bring the flow of giving and receiving into balance? By keeping in touch with the children in your abdomen, all three of them, the child of anger, the child of fear, and the child of joy. Sometimes you can notice that you give out of fear, out of not wanting to be rejected by another, and in order to preserve harmony. There are many motives for fear. At the moment you notice when you give from the place of fear, turn toward the frightened child and say to it, you don't have to do this. You're allowed to stop giving. I care for you. You are not alone. You are secure and safe with me. Be aware of this dynamic of fear. Fear of loneliness, fear of reject rejection, and also notice that you can feel de uh, depleted and empty and without vitality when you give too much. The child of joy of living the child of gladness can also be a pointer for you here. Make a habit of asking it, what would you like? What would be good for us to be doing? Because it is not a mistake or selfish to grant yourself this joy. Joy of life and happiness are a sure sign of inner development. Of course, that concept goes against the traditions with which spirituality has become associated, such as being serious, careful, conscientious, responsible, all those heavy masculine traits. But real spirituality is full of joy and the embrace of life. Remember that way of viewing life when you give too much and when you feel tired and exhausted. Return to that child in your abdomen who has connection with true spirituality, with grounded spirituality. And see the angry child, the one you are afraid of. Certainly women have trouble with this child because that goes against the age-old image of femininity where women are subservient, complacent, giving, caring, sweet, pleasing. There is a taboo against this angry child, but it is especially this child that can give you so much. It makes you aware when you are unfaithful to yourself. It makes you conscious of your own value and where you are doing harm to it. So if you feel anger in your everyday life, or even a less powerful feeling such as irritation, irritation or displeasure, welcome it. Try not to shrug off the feeling or to hide it away in order to keep the peace. 
or because it feels uncomfortable. But really go there. Ask that child within you what it is angry about. Put it into words. Allow me to see it. And take what it tells you seriously. You often wait for messages from your soul to find your life's path, but your soul speaks to you through these children, through your abdomen, which is grounded and powerful and spontaneous. You're continually receiving information through the flow of feeling in your abdomen, through your emotions and through your inner children. And I shout out to you, take that seriously. Do not search too high for your answers. When you are too caught up in the flow of the heart, it is easy to fall into those traps of giving in excess that we spoke about as portrayed by, by those old stereotypes, those old images of the female energy. Make the connection with those raw emotions in your abdomen, the fear, anger, joy, enthusiasm, inspiration. These are the true guides for which you are looking. And you have forgotten because of your traditions, such as oppressive forms of religion, among other things, to listen to these children in your abdomen. This is a time of change. You are creating a new history. You are breaking old taboos, and therefore I honor you. This is why you are here on earth both to change the collective energy of humanity and for yourself. To get back to doing justice to the area of the abdomen and to be true to the humanness you all share with one another, both women and men. Because in men there are also suppressed inner children. The wounded female energy affects both men and women. See once more these three children in your abdomen and promise them your devotion and your dedication. Imagine that you and your three children take one another's hands. Feel the energy flow. Feel what they give to you. Their innocence, their life force, the truth that they speak and their clarity. That is the knowledge that helps, that really helps you. See also what you give to them. If you are really there for them, then they see you as their guide, their support and advocate, the one who listens to them, the one who is there for them. That is what you give to them and they are happy to receive it. They feel recognized and appreciated. Thank you for your presence. I am Mother Earth. So that was our channeling by Pamela Cribb and yeah, maybe you can use it in your life. See ya my friend.